Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video over how I made Don't Want to Feel Anymore. Uh, just going over, you know, the production side of it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be fun to explain. So, first of all, I use Ableton Live 10. Um, it's the first DAW I have ever used and probably the last. I mean, who knows? I really like it. It's pretty simple to use and it just has great quality just all around um, so the first thing I did in this song was well I mean a little bit of a backstory um, so at the time when I made this I was only making EDM music and then I really got into like Indian alt music like listening to it um, and I was in this like huge creativity drought um, with making EDM music so I was like you know what? like why don't I just give it a shot and you know try to make uh, an indie song ish um you know genres are weird nowadays so i don't really even know what everyone would consider this but i'm just i just labeled it uh, as indie like pop um so um with that in mind i was looking through splice which is a like a royalty free software um and you can like get clips of people singing kicks drums literally whatever you want and i was looking through the vocals and i found this guy's vocal uh let me just play it really quick I hate this feeling cause I won't be breathing you in my lungs anymore uh, And as soon as I heard that I was like yeah yeah I can make an indie like you know indie pop song off of this um, So you know I threw it into the the DAW and then it's at 124 BPM And then the next step I did was uh, make the piano So I sat down on my piano just like almost every song I make And uh, made the chords for it so here we go Really beautiful piano. I love this part. It's just a nice progression. Um, so I did that. Um, and then after I played the piano part, I just copied and pasted me playing the piano onto a different instrument. And it was a synth. Like a little nice 80s synth. Uh, and then you put them together. And a nice little sound coming out right there. So the next thing I did was uh, these drums. And this is kind of like where the whole entire song came together, in my opinion. Like, this is where I was like, okay, like, this is, like, I think I have something here. Um, so first we have this, like, super hard-hitting kick. And then here... As you can see, I layer it, so on the one, I do two kicks combined. Um, and then I could just a nice little, you know, rhythm there. And then plus the, the uh, snare, which is actually triple layered at some points. So a little clap, and then a snare, and then another snare, like a little rim hit. Um, and all three of those combined. And then we kind of just like made this little rhythm. Um, and this is actually a default um, like drum kit in Ableton. So it's like, you know, you can find some crazy stuff um, and just like make it into something that sounds really good. So in this, um, in this project file, I don't have everything um, because my computer just cannot run the whole entire song anymore. Um, so a couple things I'm missing. Sadly, I'm missing all of the electric guitars. Um, but I'll just show you like what it sounded like before the electric guitars. And then also I'm just missing some like uh, processing I did. So right here on the snare, we just have an EQ in this uh, this project file. And then we on the drums, we just have an EQ as well. Um, I tried to min minimize it so I can actually hear it because if I don't, it just freezes up and gets all distorted. Um, so kind of that's like pretty much the beginning of the song just those drums and then the piano so here we go I and then here comes the voice so what i did here is i added in a hi-hat and i did an open hi-hat into some closed hi-hats and uh my percussion background from playing uh 
you know, being in the percussion section in my high school band really comes in handy, um, you know, when I'm making songs. And just like my piano background comes in handy when I'm making songs as well. Um, so I like to, you know, really focus on the piano and the chords um, a lot, as well as the drums. So, um, you know, when the vocal comes in, we have just the regular vocal. I put uh, my favorite plugin for vocals, CLA Vocals, on it. Uh, let's see, I used Moody. It just gives it some reverb and some delay. It makes it sound really nice. I hate this feeling. Um, but then I harmonized it with a different um, with CLA vocals as well, but then I put uh, one of my plugins called a little Alter Boy on it, and uh, I formented it, so it's weird. It's not like, formant isn't like you're changing the pitch, but it's like at the same time you're kind of changing the pitch. It's very strange and hard to uh, to explain, but so now you you can hear like this harmony coming in. Uh, let's play. I hate this feeling because I won't be breathing you in my lungs anymore. So just to give you a little bit, a better example. So here is the ending and the regular one without the harmony. Am I lost anymore? And then here's the harmonized part. part. Am I lost anymore? So, you know, they both combine together. Am I lost anymore? Sounds pretty nice, sounds pretty nice. Um, and then the second thing I did, or the, um, the third thing in this section I added was this. A live electric guitar and kind of a interesting story in this one uh, originally i got my roommate scott who you know as a hobby plays bass um to just you know come in my room and record the part and it sounded really good and we got like a good foundation of it um but then i went back to kingwood to get preston uh, which i'm gonna link all of preston's stuff down in the description because he is an insane musician and he has stuff on Spotify as well that you guys should go check out. And uh, so Preston was doing the electric guitars in the song for me and uh, which he killed. I mean, it's, he's crazy. Uh, so I got him to do the bass as well at that time. But then I was like, ah, you know, I don't know. It's still not like exactly right. So I kind of changed up the bass a little bit. And then I ended up just grabbing Scott's bass one day and recording in Austin, and I it's just the first time I was ever playing bass and just did it myself, uh, which was really fun to learn. It took quite a while for me to play like the most simple bass line, but that's okay. Um, so I did that, and then, yeah, that's pretty much the, the end of this section. Um, and then here in a second, I'll show you another part that I added. I hate this feeling, cause I won't be breathing you in my lungs anymore. So here, um, and it's gonna sound a little bit different because um, the mixing is a bit different, which I'll get in a little bit later. Um, so right here, we added two more things, a little impact, like a cymbal. And then a little vocal thing. So then those together sound like this in the mix. I'm always checking my phone and um, and as well as we added some more synths. So this one. Another one. And this one's actually uh, strings, and I think it's cello. Um, it says string ensemble, so maybe it's a whole entire ensemble, but just a fun fact, strings, I love strings. Almost in every single one of my songs I put strings. Uh, cello especially i really like it for some reason it just sounds i don't know just a nice sound so then we add another synth and this one's just hidden on like the one really reverby kind of opens it up you know and then here is the melody in this section which is kind of like an interesting story so these i'm you know, I've been playing piano for so long. I like to make everything on piano first when I uh, make music. And so this melody I made, and then I was like, all right, I'm gonna change it later. Like, I'll put it on a different instrument. I don't really know what, but I'm gonna change it. But then like, you know, I just didn't get around to it. And then like, at some point I was like, you know, actually it sounds really good on piano. And I don't know, it just kind of fits. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I just played this on my piano and then just recorded into the software and it just sounds really nice. I'm always checking my phone and you have me being alone and I've got you on my mind. I'm always checking my phone and you have me being alone and I've got you on my mind. And then we don't have the chorus in this project because it's going to be in the second one, but We'll get to that. Um, and this down here, this fill, I'll explain later. It's really cool how I made it. Um, pretty proud of it. Um, so then on to the second verse. This is probably my favorite part of the song, if not the chorus, um, is the second verse. It's just, it has a nice feeling to it. Um, so, you know, we have the piano again, the synth, um, and then the, uh, the melody again. Uh, then we add this symbol uh, after it. And then we have our drums again. And then we have this. This is what takes up so much of my CPU is just like all this like layering. So we have four layers of vocals, which I'll get more into, but it just um, takes up a lot of room. Uh, so right here, I just cut up the clip I got uh, from Splice and then just kind of repeated it and it turned into the really cool um and here we go so why i like that section so much is like there's just good like switching back and forth between the piano melody and the vocals it just leaves a lot of space for the piano melody and it just comes out and sounds really i mean really good um so here is kind of something that was important to me i wanted a section that uh just had the bass guitar and just kind of like a solo which it comes out better in the actual mix so it sounds a <coughs> excuse me it sounds a bit um underwhelming here um but yeah so this is the second part and so we have the bass going the vocal uh i think just drums or just kicks yeah so no, no snares in this part and then the piano and the synth that kind of goes out through the whole entire song And then here we kind of just go, we repeat the uh, first verse and then we go back into the pre chorus. get into the chorus right after this uh the last part in this project is the outro which is uh very similar to the verse or the second verse um and it's just a nice way to end the song i think Leave. piano where it all started uh it ends so that is it for the first part and on to the second all right so this is the second part um it is the chorus of the song which is you know the catchy part and like the best part um so I'm just gonna go over it it's pretty similar i did add a lot of new things into this and one thing i really like uh, i'll explain in a second so to start it off, we have just a, what is this? I think a synth. Yeah, so a pluck, and I think we have a couple of these, so. Yeah, here's another one. And then we have uh, more isolated, just like one hit plucks as well. Another one right here. And then another one. 
So four of those. Um, and why I did that is I just really wanted to emphasize the chords and just make it kind of like this euphoria moment, just everything hitting you at once, just boom, you know? Uh, which I think in the final mix, it really does that. Um, which was, yeah, I, I mean, the final mix was incredible. And just to kind of touch on that, um, my mixing and mastering engin engineer, uh, her name's Hannah. Uh, I'll also link all of her stuff below because she, I mean, without her, there's no way this would sound the same. I mean, there's three steps to production. It's, you know, making the song, which I'm showing you right now, and then mixing and mastering, which, you know, to be like, a great mixing and mastering engineer. Yeah, most people go to university for four years, so that's actually what Hannah did. Um, and she's from England. And uh, yeah, I just reached out to her, and she decided she would uh, want to help me out. So, I mean, just so many thanks to her. Um, so, anyways, to continue, there's another synth down here. Just a more ambient, you know, spacey synth. All right, and then another one. I really like that one. That one really hits and also is just spacey at the same time. Uh, and then we got the strings again. It just sounds so nice. It's very pretty, very pretty. I like to just, I wish I knew how to play the strings. And uh, I mean, that's one of my goals uh, farther down the line is to get like more live instruments in to the production. Uh, I mean, if, if I could get real strings, that would just be amazing. Uh, but I mean, these sound pretty good for the time being. Uh, and then I believe another synth. Yeah. There's a lot of reverb on a lot of the things. Um, sadly, I can't really show you the processing because I have exported these out to audio files instead of MIDI files. Um, but yeah, I mean, I kind of just put a ton of reverb in them and just made them as big as possible just to really hit for the chorus. And then, you know, we got the same drums as uh, we did, which really hit good. Um, and then the same, you know, sweeps, uh, which I really like this one. This was a great find. Just a nice sound, like it just goes goes very well with the so uh, with the sound of the song. Um, so the next part is this vocal layering that I have. So the first one is just going to be you know the regular vocal with just the LA vocals, the moody uh, the the moody uh, preset, and then so that's this one. And then the second one is the same CLA vocal preset, but now we're adding a plugin that I have called Little Alter Boy, and then we did the formant. So as I was saying before, so it goes a little, a little harmony. And then the next one is sounds like this. So it kind of just pushes it up an octave, and then the the last one is the exact opposite, pushes it down an octave. Gets you that good bass. And then everything together sounds like this. Uh, which came out really nice. Um, and then on top of that, we have the live bass guitar again. Uh, which sounds pretty nice. Um, I am sadly can't show you the processing for this one, but uh, yeah, I put a bunch of distortion on it and I think a little bit of reverb. And then sadly, I can't show you the uh, guitars either, but Preston just killed it. I mean, if you haven't heard the original song, go check it out because, I mean, it makes, I mean, it's amazing. Um, and then the last element that I'm really excited to tell you guys about is this drum um, kind of like I don't even know what it sounds like to people but this is and I do have the processing processing on this one so this sound right here um, right here it comes through really well in the uh, final mix um, and it's actually just me banging on my keyboard so I did two takes of it um, and I think I just hit them like on different, see, like I'll show you, on different sides of my keyboard. So this thing right here, just 
boom, boom, boom. Um, and so I hit it on two different sides. I don't know exactly, I can't remember exactly how I did it, but um, because I, just because you know I'm in percussion, I like to drum out things, so that's how I did that. Um, and then I combined those two, and you can actually hear the original without anything on it. You can kind of hear me just playing it in the background. Uh, and then the second one, a bit deeper. I think I just hit it on a different part of the keyboard. Um, and then, and um, so yeah, I put those together. And we'll put the effects back on. And honestly, the coolest part of this whole entire thing is I recorded a different take, and I did like a, the pickup or the fill to um, to the chorus. So this is what the drums sound together in the chorus with the uh, the little tapping. Which just is a great rhythm. I mean, when I had this, I was like telling all my roommates, I was like, bro, look at this. Sounds so cool. Um, and then the final thing I did is this little pickup, which yet again, and if I wasn't very clear, like I have this part that goes to my keyboard. And I just like, like just started tapping on it and it kind of just makes that sound. Um, and then this final part is the fill to to the chorus you can even hear the sound the the song in the background um so you know that in context sounds like this and then it's also fills in at the midway point of the chorus And then the second chorus, um, that kind of concludes the first chorus, is there's a bit difference. So actually in the final take, I did the, I ended up deciding on doing the guitar solo, um, which actually um, isn't how it was originally, uh, but I just thought it was better. And so I went with that. But the only other thing that I added in the second part of the chorus, or the second part of the second chorus, is these plucks. <laughs> kind of an orchestral pluck right there, and then like an oriental pluck here. Definitely farther back in the mix, so you may not even be able to hear them, but if you listen very closely, you can. That's, uh, that's how I made, that's everything I did on the project. You know, there's a couple things that sadly I couldn't show because of my computer and its CPU. Um, but that's how I made Don't Want to Feel Anymore. Uh, and I appreciate all the support I've been getting on it. And there's more to come. I'm working on an awesome song right now. So maybe another release soon, I hope. Um, and just thank you so much for all the support. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day, and thanks for checking out the video.